Paint's drying up just a little bit because I spread it really thin. So I gotta add a little bit more water to it just to re moisten it. So it actually uses still. Once it dries, it becomes much more difficult. So now we're gonna go ahead. And some more green. So thinking about it more and more that I'm using this kit, I'm impressed that this is only five dollars. Because usually, if you went someplace like let's say, you know, uh, Joanne's or someplace like that, you would pay a considerable amount more. Probably not tons more, but. This is a nice little kit. Okay. <clears throat> Keep moving on. Doing that thing I shouldn't do again. But I'm using my brush as a scrub brush. So while I'm painting this, I've also been thinking about some stuff um, as far as like what else I want to do with this. And I think I would like to add some moss to his door because I'm thinking mushrooms, they're pretty much entirely moisture. They're a lot of water. And there would be moss, in my mind, around his door. Because his door is also shaded, in my mind. And moss loves shade and moisture. Mm hmm I found another vine. So, when I go to make the moss, though, 
I'm going to make the moss darker than a new flower vine. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do next. Well, first I'm going to add moss. I'm going to get some green. I'm going to get some green right here. Clean off my brush. And I think I'll also add a little bit of moss around his siding as well. A little bit of groove blue, so we got a little bit darker. Okay. Also going to add just a touch, and I mean a touch of brown. Then after I do the moss and planning out the rest of my painting, after I do the moss, just a touch, I'm going to do, I need to add more green to this definitely. The flowers, I'm going to paint the flowers first. And then I'll go through and add the stamen, which is the pollinated part in the middle. It's usually orange or yellow. And a big old blob of green. We're almost there for my mossy color. I'm going to add some more green. I think that is perfect. So when I do the moss, I'm also going to do, um, first I'm going to do some moss like right here. You see like right there. Some mossiness. That kind of sporadic moss doesn't really grow. Really grow in patches. So there's some moss and then some moss up here. That moss of the vine would also help to create some moss. Okay. Alright. 
From there, we're going to go around, kind of over by these mushrooms as well. I'm go ahead and get a lot of this paint off because I don't want to have too much of it. We're going to go ahead and add some moth over here by these mushrooms as well. And some up here. Here, like a small little moth patch. Right, see that or not? And we'll add just some more. Looks like random moths kind of. There's his little mossy home. Okay, now that we've done our moss, we are going to go ahead and do our flowers. Let me check my camera real quick. Yep, okay, still going. Okay, so now I know this too. I know that they're probably all supposed to be kind of like how they did on the box here. They're all the same color flowers, but um, I want to make different colors. So we're going to start with, oh, you want to touch some moss. <laughs> we're going to start with some blue. We're just going to do standard blue, just like the stuff that they gave us. We are going to thin it out a little bit. Make it kind of like a cornflower color. More of a powdery baby blue. And here we will add maybe this one up here will be like a corn flowery color too. More water, and touch more blue. I also want to make like a really light, like lavender purple. Let's do one more blue one. I think I'm going to do this guy right over here blue. Okay. Now we're going to add our lavender. So to this, I'm going to turn this my brush off real quick. To this, we're going to add just a touch of red, and I added a touch too much, <laughs> so I have to add a little bit more blue. Clean this up.
a little bit better. You know, I I do like this. Okay. Go ahead and add some purple. I'm gonna add some purple right over here. Of course, lavender is just a color. This is not what the actual lavender plant looks like. Final color, I'm going to do yellow. Good. See? The last three are going to be yellow. I'm doing yellow because uh, I feel like the purple is kind of blending into the brown. And I don't really want that. I feel like the yellow would stand out a bit more. I think the right one here. We're going to do different color stamens. I'm going to do yellow for some, and then orange for some. Dot, dot, dot. Make kind of like a circle. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
the rest of them are going to be orange. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my, actually, I shouldn't have rinsed it off. I want to add more yellow to it right here. I'm going to add a conservative like a dot of red. This is very pigmented red. <laughs> And somehow it was too much red. Very pigmented. Too pigmented. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more yellow to this. Rinse, 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 rinse. I think it's not helping that there's so much red in the water. And probably red in my actual paintbrush. Okay, so that's a good color. I'm go ahead and go in here first. Oh, I like that orange. Go and do this one. We got to do one of the flowers over here. Here. Hmm. There's a blue one I gotta do on this side when I get done with this purple one. I think I wonder if I did this. I don't think I did this one yet. Okay. Let's do it. Nice old blob of this. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. And now we have to do the gnome's welcome, which I'm going to do in, I think in blue. Okay. Now, hoping to get that nice and pointy okay you can see they've got it like imprinted in there now i just need to follow along to the best of my abilities of course I wish I knew more about gnomes. I can give you some cool facts about them. Spit some fire facts about gnomes, if you will. I've so far. And it just occurred to me 
could maybe do welcome in a different color. And I'm thinking red. Or purple. Yeah, yeah. See, we're going to do purple here. See? Oh. Dun. Makes it some more purple. Blue. Say a whisper of red. We like purples that are more kind of on the blue side. Because um, red and blue make purple. And, uh, if you add more blue to it, you get more of a blue violet or more like an indigo, you might say. Okay, so once again, just a tiny little bit on there. See how this looks. I like it. I blew one on it while I'm hazing on it. Got a little overzealous with the curvature of my C. Now, what if you're not a gnome? Okay, I think that turned out quite lovely. So let's look at the entirety of this. Now, we're not done yet, because we still have to paint Mr. Gnome himself. But I think this turned out quite nicely. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So we're going to set this aside, and I'm actually going to take a piece of paper um, from over here. I'm going to set it on that. That way, I'm not just setting it right on my table. Put it right there. Gnome, welcome. And now we get to paint Mr. Gnome himself. Okay, Mr. Gnome. Now right away... Now, the first thing that I really want to paint is his beard. So we're going to take on our plate here. Sorry, Mr. Gnome. Plate right here. We're going to take some white and just like a little tiny teensy weensy touch of brown. I'm hoping actually that yeah, will do just a teeny weeny touch of brown and a teeny weeny touch of blue. I think that will give us the color that I'm looking for. That will give me the color that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'll take this off again. We don't want to mix our colors fully yet. Once Mr. Gnome is done, if you have any leftover paint, I say do whatever the heck you want to do with it. I'm going to add a little dollop here of brown. And mix, 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 mix. See, what I'm trying to create is a gray beard. Um, and I think using the colors that I've been given that if I add some blue to it, and not a lot, just a little bit of blue, I will be able to get... Oh, now see, here's this too. This is a pretty skin color. And so instantly, I'm like, this has got to be 
This will be the skin tone for Mr. Gnome. So then after this, we'll add more white to it. Actually, we'll add blue to it first. After we get the skin color part out of the way, 